Hi everybody, this is Julissa. Thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who's listening. In the podcast today is Friday, October the 4th, 2024. I wanted to come here, you guys, and speak about this because every time I encounter, every time I see a video like this, you know, whether it's hurting an elderly person or a child, like it really breaks my heart. Um, but this is the world that we're living in right now. Um, but before I go and tell you what happened, I wanted to ask if you wanted to support my channel by joining me in the memberships. And you can just click on the memberships and you'll see all the details regarding that. Also, if you want to, if you're listening to the podcast on Spotify, feel free to follow me on Spotify. And if you're listening on the Apple podcast, you can also uh, become a member there. So today, guys, I'm going to speak to you guys about this. Um, I just saw a video that's floating on the internet, but it's trending today about a a Uber driver. We all know, like, there's a lot of people who take Uber. Um, you know, I had taken Uber many times. It's so crazy because when I began using Uber, people would say to me, Uber can be dangerous, this and the other. I'm like, I never have an issue with Uber, though. And I actually thought it was a great service. Um, I think a lot of the drivers are very respectful. The ones that I encounter, I do know, very aware that they have many problems, like the one I'm going to talk to you guys about, excuse me. And I understand that a lot of people rely on Uber. Um, but, you know, I think it goes kind of, excuse me, it kind of goes both ways. Um, a lot of the times, you know, it could be either the driver or the passenger, there could be an issue. Um, but... Thanks be to God, but the people that I encounter working for Uber have been nothing but great. You know, if anything, they have been so careful, um, so concerned, you know, if they're dropping me off in a different area or something, they will be like, do you know anybody there? Things like that. So I do really appreciate that. But the, I saw a video, like I told you guys, and it's very heartbreaking because there is an Uber driver out of Dallas, Texas, who was about to begin a ride. You know, he showed up to the location to pick up an elderly couple. And in the surveillance video, you can see that this Uber driver gets out of the car and the passenger gets out of the car as well. And notably, you can see that the passenger is an elderly man. Okay, and the Uber driver is a very young, tall um you know, heavy set guy. And immediately after they both get out of the car, the Uber driver, the younger guy, very much slaps the man to the punches the, the, the elderly man to the point that this man drops to the ground. Okay. Let me just tell you, this is so crazy because I see the video. Um I don't you know I don't know if I'll be able to put it here for you guys you watching this on YouTube, but I see the video and I'm like, listen I understand that, you know, people on, on the internet are saying things like, oh, you know, it probably the the passenger probably says something horrible. Like regardless, you know, the regardless of what an elderly person might have said to you, you have no rights to react like that, to put the, your hands on that person, to punch somebody who's weaker than you, older than you, like whatever happened to respect here, okay? Somebody who you're basically working for too, and you're gonna punch this man who's who is you know so weak compared to your size, regardless if he said like the meanest thing okay i don't there's no excuse whatsoever. The thing is that when a video like this comes out, you see people reacting to it, and there are people who are basically saying, "Oh well, I'm sure he said something very nasty to the Uber driver, like I said, regardless." You're still dealing with the elderly person who's very weak. You can you can totally see that this man was very fragile. He could have been very strong with his words, whatever, right? But it's still, if he says something offensive to you, you can cancel the right, ask him to get out of the car, and just end it there. But we're living in a world that is like, no, we got to take it another step. We got to raise it to the second level and take it there and hurt somebody like people forget that we're all at one point in our lives we're all gonna get old right and we're all gonna be fragile and we're all gonna depend on somebody to help us but 
before that happens, it's so weird. A lot of people don't want to give that back to somebody else and have the compassion and the understanding that a lot of the times elderly people, they might not be, um, you know, in their all, all, in all their senses, they might be struggling with something. Um, a lot of the times when people are older, uh, in, in advanced age, I guess you can say, they could be suffering for sick, uh, they could be suffering from pain or whatever. So anything can trigger them, right? And when people are living daily with pain and like something that bothers them, that they, they actually can take medication for, they, they get angry at life at many things. So they say things, especially if they're elders, you know, they might say things that are out of, you know, out of character and things like that. So when that happens, you want to show people mercy and understanding. Like, it's just so crazy, guys, to see that this is happening. So let me briefly read this article to you. Dallas police are investigating after a rideshare driver punched an elderly passenger from behind. A surveillance camera captured Wednesday attack in the Dallas Design District. The 68-year-old passenger tells the news that it all started as an argument over legroom, okay? I'm a very tall person, okay? I understand that, you know, when I have people in my car, I usually have to adjust my seat so everybody's comfortable. Um, and people, when I get in their car, they actually have to adjust their seat also. So legroom is always a, a, like a, an issue. Not, not a big problem. It depends what kind of car it is. But um, when you are a tall person, you your job, your daily job, right, is to drive people around in your car. Like, if anything, you should be more considerate. And you can see in this video that the, the passenger is sitting right bef- behind the driver. So obviously, legroom was going to be an issue because the the driver is a very tall guy. So he probably has has the chair pushed back all the way, right? So this elderly guy who probably is fragile, who probably has, you know, pain in their legs, whatever, right? They're he's 68 years old you can totally see if you see him that he's you know he's an advanced age and you know he might be suffering from pain or whatever right so he's getting right behind the driver's side in the back seat and he he asks for more leg room and this man right who his job is to make your passenger feel comfortable he's gonna begin an argument like i said like he could have he could have things Things could have been fit so easily here, okay? I don't need to know the details. There's no excuse for this man to lose his cool and punch this guy to the ground like that. It's, there's no excuse, okay? Even working in customer service, there are so many ways to negotiate, like to resolve the issue. And if your job is to basically, you know, uh, offer a right to somebody that they're paying you to do so, you want to make them feel comfortable, right? And you know in yourself that you're a very tall guy. Like, I'm sure he's not the first person who said, hey, can you move your seat up a little bit? I have no leg room. Or it's kind of uncomfortable. It's a little tight back here. He could have said, oh, you want to sit in the front? You want to sit on the other side or, or something, right? Um, but, you know, we got, this is the society that we're living in right now, right? It's so crazy. So, his uh, the passenger's name is Suleiman Gawa. He said the attacker was an Uber driver, okay? Around 3.20 p.m., the video shows the Uber driver in a Chevrolet Malibu arriving to pick up the elderly couple at Market Center Boulevard in Dallas. Gawa and his wife began to get in the back seat. However, two and a half minutes passed and the car remained there. The video shows Suleiman getting out of the car and being punched in the back of his head. Like, what? How did it be escalated like that? There's no excuse. There, there shouldn't be. I don't want to hear no excuse from this driver to be like, well, he called me this, he called me that. Like, he's a elderly guy. Okay, you have anger problems. If you cannot control yourself because of somebody might say something to you like that, especially when you're working and trying to provide a service, then you have anger issues, okay? So the driver hovered over him while his wife slowly 
got out of the car, the video show. Uh, well, it says here, Suleiman getting out of the car and being punched in the back of his head by the driver before falling in the ground. That's what the video show. He says, he said to the driver, I cannot sit in the back seat. It's very small place, you know. Gawa said that the complaint led to the Uber driver canceling the ride and telling him to get out of the car. And he said, I'm canceling your ride. The Dallas Police Department said there was an argument before the ride share driver hit Guava in the head. And the, the passenger is saying, I just told him, you know, why are you canceling my ride? I don't know. At that time, my wife told him, I'm, I'm calling the police. The suspect drove away before police arrived. So I'm glad that they are investigating this. And the passenger said, I was thinking, you know, what happened with me? Why he hit me? The elderly man said. Um, he said he just wanted to go to Walmart. Like, people like this? Like, this driver? Like, I don't, it's so crazy. Like, it's so crazy. Yes, you would think people like that would be helping the elderly. Helping people in need, if anything. You know, if your job is, like I said, is to drive people around. And, you know, you're getting paid for that. And you don't even have the decency to accommodate the seat better or tell the, the passenger you want to sit in the front. Um, or just, yeah, you know, you can say, I'm sorry, I'm very tall. I need, I, can, I cannot adjust my seat. You might sit in the front. Anything to resolve the issue. But these days, you know, there's no compassion anymore. People forget that they have uh, parents, you know. People forget that, you know, this could have been his dad. That's so imagine if somebody did that to his dad and he's caught on video, right? Like, you know, life is crazy. Life has has an interesting way of, like, repeating itself, right? And then, you know, you get reminded, like, oh, wow, I remember when that happened to me, but I, I was actually the accuser. I was actually the other person, right? And then you're like, oh, well, you know, the, like I'm telling you guys, life has a way of repeating itself and that's why you always have to treat people right okay because one day that ball was going to bounce right back to you right so it's just crazy i'm so sad that this couple went through this over something so simple that could have been resolved so easily right so it's so crazy let me know what you guys think about this thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Have a good day. God bless.